Yo, what's up? I get uh, messages every day about how to automate messages through Google Voice, so I just wanted to create this little video on how I am automating it and how you can too. This automation is completely free. As you can see, I'm doing it right now. I'll give you a link to download this in the description. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, first, I'm going to go over how to actually set up Google Voice accounts. If you're outside the United States, it's pretty difficult to do that. So I don't really have solutions for you if you're outside the U.S. or Canada. I think you can get accounts in Canada. You can kind of buy accounts. You can look up how to buy Google Voice accounts and get them from there, but a lot of times your account can get banned there the main way of doing it honestly is that you have to have a usa number if you're outside the us so you can do that through different services like there's a, a, a tool called tello and you can get a usa number and you pay for it for like ten dollars and then now that you have a usa number if you have a gmail account and you go to googlevoice.com or voice.google.com and you try to sign up it'll ask you to verify your number and you verify using your usa number right and then the but if you're inside the United States, then you can scale and you can have multiple accounts. It's pretty easy to do that. Uh, again, if you just want one account, then you would just do it this way by just having your Gmail account and then you just select a phone number, you verify your phone and now you can use Google Voice. How do we scale? Well, uh, you can just go to admin.google.com. Now you'll have to pay for a Google workspace. So this is like Carson at CarsonFox.com. Like if you have a branded domain, then this is what you would use for that. And you go to admin.google.com, you go to apps here, workspace, and then you go to Google Voice. And then you can add users or go to users or numbers and just assign a number. It'll click assign number right here. And you can just create a number for yourself and now you're good to go. And then if you just want more users, you just go to directory, users, add another user. So I would just do like one at CarsonFox.com, two at CarsonFox.com. And then you just create 10 of them. And then you can just create 10 phone numbers. Now the problem is, is that you're paying about $8 per month per account that you have. Plus if you want Google Voice on top of that, you're paying an extra $10 per month for the Google Voice. And so now you're paying $18 total for the account itself and Google Voice. If you go past 10 accounts, if you have 11 accounts, now you have to upgrade to the $20 per month package for Google Voice. So now you're paying $28 per account that you have. And that's for all the accounts. Like if you have 10 accounts, you're only paying $10 per Google Voice account. If you have 11 accounts, now you're paying $20 for each Google Voice account, you know? And so that's kind of annoying. If you want to scale past a thousand, you have to kind of think about that. Now you can also get 10 different Google Workspace accounts. Another problem with that is that if you just create a brand new Google Workspace account today and try to set up a whole bunch of Google Voice accounts today, it's probably not going to approve you or it'll probably just shut down your phone numbers pretty quickly. Some people have tried that. It doesn't really work that well. So anyways, that out of the way, how do we create the Google Voice accounts? Now we have to set them up one by one. So here's how the automation works. If you look up here at the top, uh, it says voice.google.com forward slash u forward slash zero. Now, if I change that to one, now we're on account number two. So uh, zero is account one, one is account two, two is account three, right? And it just keeps going, keeps going. And you can sign it up or sign into up to 10 accounts on one browser. So as you can see, I'm signed to four accounts. This one, two, three, four, right? So I can go up to number three, sorry, up to number three, which is the fourth account. And then if I go to number four, number five, whatever, it'll just take me back to zero, I believe. So if I go, try to go to number four here, voice.google.com, forward slash you, forward slash four, it takes me back to zero. Okay, which is probably hard for you to see, but it's there, right? So uh, obviously that's an issue. If you wanna get past 10 accounts, what I do to get past 10 accounts is that you would just have another browser and then you just sign into all 10 accounts on this other browser and you just do it again. So it's pretty easy, but uh, all right from there. Now there will be a link in the description for a zip file. You want to download that zip file. It's just going to look like uh, it's just going to be a Google drive folder. Let me see if I can, eh, I'll be able to pull it up right now, but it'll be a, a file right there. Then you'll go to this uh, Chrome extension settings here, manage extensions, load unpacked. It'll be a zip file. You're going to want to unzip that so that it's just a file like this, just a folder. And you're going to click into that folder, click select folder, and then it'll come up like this. It says Google Voice Multi-Account Sender. It has this little box thing, whatever. And uh, I honestly, I just created this through ChatGPT. I just had, what's really cool about AI, all the AI tools now is that you can just tell it what, exactly what you want and it'll spit out a uh, a Chrome extension for you, which is pretty cool. And you can just download it and it'll tell you if something's wrong, like it'll tell you how to fix it. And so like the UI was really off and it was just looked ugly. So I was like, make all the buttons orange, make it uh, look a little better, make the, the text white, except for the text in the box, make that orange as well. 
and it was able to do all that. So you just tell it what you want. It's able to adjust it, copy paste, and uh, now you've got a Chrome extension. Cool. So just a free tool I created and pretty easy to use. All you do is you type in what message you want to send. So I say, hey, this is, is Karsten Fox. I love you. Okay. And then what we want to do is we just have all the phone numbers that we want to send to. So I'm going to get a list of phone numbers. So I pasted my phone number a couple times right here. I'm just going to copy this and then I can just paste it into the Chrome extension. Now it's uh, separated by line. So if you have a, a list uh, or a CSV file of all the, the people that you want to reach out to, you can just put it in CSV and then just copy and paste it. Now, if you want to change this where you want to be able to upload a CSV file or you want to have variables where you want to say, hey, first name, this is blah, blah, blah. I want to see for instance, blah, blah, blah. You can do all that. This is just very simple. It doesn't have any variables. You can't upload a CSV file, all that stuff, but you could potentially do that. You just have to have, uh, you just have to have AI build that for you. So I've built some other Chrome extensions using AI and uh, like this one, I think, yeah, you can download CSV. This is like a Facebook business page scraper. It'll download a CSV. You can upload a CSV file. It's pretty cool. But um, you'll just have to ask AI to add that stuff to the Chrome extension. So you'll upload this to AI, ask it, you change it, whatever, however you want to. Anyways, all right. Hey, this is Carson. Cool. Paste your phone numbers. Boom. And then how many accounts we're using? We're using four. I'm going to do a, a five second delay and start. Now, if you have 10 accounts, a five second delay is okay just because uh, it's going to take up like a minute to go through each account and do all the things that it needs to do. Click send. And then it'll take about you know a minute before it wraps back around and get back to that first account. But if you're only using one account, I might increase the delay to 40 seconds, whatever, something like that. Just click start. And now it'll open a new tab. When it opens a new tab, you're going to want to stay on this tab. And if you click out of this tab, it's not going to work. So just stay in the tab here as we see. Hey, this is Karsten. That's it. And then go to the next account. There we go. Cool. Okay. A couple last things to note. If you send more than a hundred per day, I'm not sure what results you're going to get. So I probably would just stick a little under a hundred messages per day per account that you have. If you're noticing you're not getting any responses, like even negative responses, if you're not getting at least like a 5% negative response rate or a 1% negative response rate, which means if I send a hundred, I didn't get any responses. That means all your messages are probably going to spam. The way to fix that is probably just get another number on Google voice. So just switch out the number for a different number. But most of the time I haven't really had that issues. If you stay under a hundred and if you stay under one per minute and then uh, what I do. So obviously if you have 10 accounts, it's hard to manage, you know, all these different inboxes. I just sign into all 10 accounts on my phone as well, or on a phone. And then anytime a response comes in, it'll come in like this. And so these are from two different accounts, but it looks the exact same, right? And so I can just, if someone, you know, responds positively, if I just click on that notification, it'll send me directly to that account. So it'll open Google voice app in that one account. And then I can respond right there. And then obviously if I get another positive response from a different account, I can click on the notification and it'll send me to that different account. Cool. Now, Something else you can do, and this is if you're managing even more than 10 accounts, you can get Brevo, and this is one tool. There's other tools that are out there. You can get the 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 app, and you can do it online where you can connect all your email accounts to Brevo. And what that will do is you can see all the emails that are coming in from Brevo or uh, from that one universal inbox. Space. It's just like a universal inbox platform. It does a lot of different things, but I'm just using it for the universal inbox. And so if I get a response like this, yo, what's up, right? Then I can just click reply right here and I can say, hey man, how are you, right? And it will actually send back a text through email. So I can send a uh, email to them and it'll send a text back to them. So I'm gonna hopefully wait for that to come through right here. But uh, it, and it takes usually a couple minutes for it to come through. But that works pretty well too. So if you just connect all the inboxes together, so if you have 50 accounts, connect all 50 of them to Brevo. And there you go, I just got the text back. Hey man, how are you? Um, you can't really see it obviously, but, and so I connect all 50 accounts so that anytime I get a response, it comes into one universal inbox. And if someone says, yes, I'm interested, I can just respond. Hey man, how are you? And then now we have just a universal conversation. So now we can, obviously I can't see that first text that I send it, but obviously you should know what first text you're sending to them. And uh, if they respond, yeah, sure. I can do today at 3 PM. And they say, great, I'll send you a link. And then you can send, you know, you can basically just respond again. Okay, cool. And, uh, and we can just basically keep a conversation going through email, but it's actually sending a text back to them, but you're receiving it through email. Cool. So hopefully I help you guys out. If you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you soon.